Hello friends. In today's class, we are going to talk about memory layout of a process. That is, when a process is in execution, what are the different partitions of memory? Welcome here and we are talking about uh, memory layout of a process when it is in execution okay so now yeah, as you can see here that uh, uh, there are four different aspect four different partition okay the four different partitions of memory the text is is a place where a program code will be loaded okay here we will load the program code and sometime it is called as program text And then there is a data and this data is your static data static data okay so now uh, this static data you can think of uh, all the variables that are declared static in case of c language static in c language so these two part are uh, these two allocations are a compile time uh, compile time the memory is allocated compile time memory is allocated compile time allocations this uh, the next part is your stack and the heap and uh, we'll talk about uh, first the stack thing that uh, what is the utility of the stack so stack is uh, the prime utility utility of the stack is to store uh, store local variables so that is the first part local variables so local variables even if, if there is a function you're writing int main okay int main you're writing as a function and then you say int a okay and then there is a function call f1 and then there is a printf let's say a simple program or a sentence d and then a okay if this is a simple program then you can think of that this a variable will goes where this a variable will be loaded into the main memory so this will be uh, sorry this a variable be will be loaded in main memory in the stack part okay, that that, will, that that goes into the stack the second uh, the second uh, second uh, utility of the stack is if there, this goes for the call a program is in execution and this goes for a call and that call is suppose f1 then the entire activation record okay entire activation record of a process which consists of let's say local variable is one aspect of it local variable there is another aspect such as uh, registers uh, control links, access links, all these things will be stored in a part that is stack. And now here I can show you that if this is your main activation, then main activation will be there. The moment uh, this will be called, F1 will be called, a new activation will start and there will be an activation of F1. So all the variables which are, uh, okay, if there is a local variable in F1, so now they are going to store over here, okay. Now, upon termination, okay, upon termination of uh, this, this function, upon termination of function F1, okay control will return back to main okay control return back to main so your recursive calls and your nested processor calls are implemented by using stack the utility of the stack is to implement recursive calls and nested processor calls Right? So 
that is the utility of the stack. So text is for the code and data is for the database data, static data and stack is for the recursive and the nested processor calls. Now, the last part is your heap and the heap is used for dynamic allocation of memory, dynamic allocation of memory. Okay, dynamic allocation means at the runtime memory will be allocated and uh, uh, we have a very standard function for this. We have a malloc function and we have a calloc function in case of C language and that is used to allocate the memory. Even all the data structures, uh, data structure, if you are implementing using C language, then they are allocating the memory by using this function that is called malloc and calloc function. Okay. So now uh, the, this, this is a heap is, is the area where dynamic allocation of the memory happens and both are uh, dynamic, dynamically allocated, okay, means runtime, okay, dynamically means at the runtime the allocation happens. And that is why we don't know the length, exact length, and that is why two arrows are indicating that there is a sign of growth. Uh, the last thing here in this case is uh, here uh, you can see that zero is here and max is here. Now uh, this is because of the growth and uh, this is not the restriction when, when we are in the process, uh, we can have a zero over here and max over here, okay? So do not confuse with this. Okay, so these are the two static part and this is two uh, runtime part. Okay. So that's all for this discussion. Thank you.